Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Up Comedy Up back with another Dokkan battle video. So JP just got a pretty substantial data download about an hour ago and from that we were able to get a lot of details for some upcoming units as well as awakenings that I assume are going to be related to part two of the five year anniversary. And uh, there's actually quite a few things to cover in this video, so I'm gonna try to go as quickly as possible. But first things first, let's actually check out this pretty dope promo video that was posted by Kawhi on his Twitter page. Huge shout out to him as always. And without further ado, let's uh, check it out. Here we go. All right, so um, pretty familiar if you guys saw the first promo video from part one with the LR Gogeta and LR Vertito. And uh, if they keep doing this for all new units in the future, I'm totally down because these promos are actually really good at hyping things up. But uh, as you guys saw, we're getting two new units. One which we already knew about for a while now, which is the free-to-play LR Goku Black, which awakens from the STR Zamasu. But uh, the other one is, I mean, at least to me, completely new, something I didn't expect at all, and that would be this LR, I mean, assuming it's an LR, Chilai, that awakens into Broly, Chilai, and Lemo, and nobody really knows exactly what they do, or even if they're a summonable unit, or a free-to-play unit, I would assume, actually, that's going to be the summonable card for part two of the five-year celebration, but who really knows at this point? Either way, I'm gonna get my hands on them, you know, no matter what, because that is a high-pass card to me, man. Like, I love the Broly movie. I've long said it is the best Dragon Ball movie of all time, and uh, I gotta have them. I gotta have them. So, really cool promo right there. We got the free-to-play LR Goku Black. We have his details. We'll talk about them in just a second. But uh, the Chilai, Broly, and Lemo right now is a question mark. But, of course, once more details come out about them, I'll let you guys know in a future video. So there's the promo right there. Uh, we have some details in French here from Kawhi. Of course, I can't read French. I mean, I can a little bit, but not well enough. So we're gonna take a look at the English translations uh, real soon. But before we leave this page, I wanna show this to you guys. So this apparently is gonna be a new wallpaper coming to the JP side. And it looks freaking dope, man. Like, this is the best looking wallpaper we have ever seen. Okay, so besides that, we also have some super attack animations. Um, this is the art, the animated art for the Goku Black. And I gotta say, it looks really, really good. Um, this is the 12 key animation for the Black right here. And, I mean, it, it's okay. You know, it doesn't really blow my mind, but it looks fine. Right, 12 key, and then 18 key is right here. A little bit better, but once again, uh, I mean, it, it's okay. It's a little bit short, actually. It's only like five seconds, which I guess, I mean, it's not a bad thing because it allows you to get through a stage faster, but uh, I mean, it, it, it's whatever, right? It's just not really that hype. And then we also have the animation for the Awakened Kid Broly. That also gets an Extreme Z Awakening through the Extreme Z area event that's coming up. So there we go. And lastly, we have the animation for the Kid Raditz and Kid Vegeta that also gets a Extreme Z Awakening. Well, Token Awakening and Extreme Z Awakening through uh, this update. There we go. And what else is there to see? I think that's it. So now let's pop over to the Twitter page of Goresh who has translated all the details for the Goku Black, the Kid Broly, and also the Kid Vegeta and uh, Raditz. Huge shout out to Goresh as always. We really appreciate it. And let's start with the LR first. So there's the art once again. And as for his details, 
He is a time traveler's leader. Key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 77%. Uh, super attack, 12 key is black power ball, colossal damage, and lowers defense. And 18 key is fierce god slicer, raises defense for one turn and causes colossal, mega colossal damage. His passive is attack and defense plus 50%, key plus 1 for every attack received up to 5, performs an additional attack when there are 2 or more enemies with a medium chance that it becomes a super attack, and further attack and defense plus 20% when delivering the final blow max of 50% each. So to be honest, I'm not 100% sure what that last part means. I would assume that the attack and defense plus 20% can stack multiple times, but only up to a maximum of attack and defense plus 50%. So after you kill three enemies with his attack, then he will max out, add a bonus of attack and defense plus 50% on top of the original attack and defense plus 50%, right? That's what I think it means, but I could be wrong. Either way, he looks like he's going to be a good unit, and I'm sure he's going to do fine. Um, damage wise and defensively but by no means is he gonna blow you away right like he's gonna be good in pretty much every aspect but he's not gonna be crazy his links are godly power cold judgment nightmare dismal future fear and faith shattering the limit and legendary power and his categories are time travelers realm of gods patara future saga and dragon ball seekers so that is the goku black right there and now we're gonna move on to the uh, Kid Broly Extreme Z Awakening. So, he is a pure Saiyan's leader, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 77%, or int types, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 50%, super attack, raises attack and defense, can be stacked infinitely, so great unit for the legendary Goku event, and causes supreme damage with a medium chance to stun the enemy. His passive is attack and defense plus 70%, disables enemy's guard, and medium chance to evade enemy's attack, and deliver the final blow to recover 20% HP. And by final blow, of course, that means to kill the enemy with your attack. And his links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, The Innocents, Prodigies, Tough as Nails, Prepared for Battle, and Shadowing the Limit. And he has two categories, Pure Saiyans and Youth. Okay, so that is the kid Broly right there. He actually seems quite good. He does a little bit of everything, as you can see. Stacking attack and defense, um, disable enemy's guard, evading attacks, and also healing when uh, you kill the enemy with your attack, right? So uh, overall, very, very solid. And last but not least, we have the kid um, Raditz and Vegeta. They're a joined forces category leader. Key plus three, HP, attack and defense plus 77%, or extreme class, key plus three, HP, attack and defense plus 40%. Super attack raises attack and causes supreme damage and lowers the enemy's attack. And his passive is attack and defense plus 70%, key plus 1 and attack and defense plus 20%, and critical hit chance plus 10% for every pure Saiyan's category ally attacking in the same turn, excluding this card. So you can have a maximum of key plus 2, attack and defense plus 40%, and a critical hit chance plus 20% since you don't include this card itself, right? So uh, also performs an additional attack which has a high chance of becoming a super attack if there is another joined forces category ally attacking in the same turn, excluding this card. So just to clarify, in theory, if you had two other pure Saiyans category allies attacking in the same turn and also one of them, or at least one of them, happens to be a joined forces category unit as well, then you will get attack and defense plus 40% in addition to key plus 2, 20% extra crit chance, and also performs an additional attack with a high chance of becoming a super attack. And in that situation, this card should be really, really good, especially when they stack attack every time they super. So, you know, over the course of a long event, they should be doing quite a bit of damage. Uh, links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Freezes Army, Brutal Beatdown, Thirst for Conquest, Prepare for Battle, and Shattering the Limit. And categories are Pure Saiyans, Youth, Conquest of Terror, and Join Forces. So that is the Vegeta and Raditz right there. And uh, that's all there is to cover in this video, guys. I mean, it's actually a little bit less than I thought. I thought it was going to be like a 20-minute video, but I'm glad it didn't turn out that way. And uh, honestly, I mean, these cards all look good, but I'm the most excited for whatever this LR Chi Broly and Lemo turns into because 
I love those units or those characters. I want this card so bad and I can't wait to get some more details and share them with you guys in a future video. But for now, uh, that's everything we know. LR Goku Black, uh, Kid Broly, Raditz, and Vegeta. And uh, how can I forget this dope ass Gogeta versus Broly wallpaper. Okay, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.